Hey there guys, it's me from the future again, as I've match recorded a couple of episodes. The audio still didn't work properly, so you get this voiceover instead, with me trying to work out what my thought process was while I was actually playing the game. Who knows? As it is, it looks like the cyan stars are about to finish and unlock the stacker, so we'll just wait for that to happen, and then we'll be able to, I guess, use the stacker. I think we were going to make red windmills was the plan. There we go, level 10 complete. So primarily we're going to use the option on the right, just combining two uh, half shapes into a full shape. We're not actually layering anything on top of each other. So we wanted red windmills to do mixing and painting upgrades, because mixing and painting is very slow at the moment. The problem is you can't just dig up full windmills, you have to find them as part of another shape and combine them together. So in a couple of places we found half square, half windmill shapes. But they need to be near red ideally, because that's what we're going to paint them. So here we go, here's an option. There's a nice large deposit of half square, half fans here. It's quite a distance from the hub, but that's fine. We should have to build a long conveyor belt to get it there. So, I've apparently am still obsessed with using splitters to merge together out of extractors rather than the merger. But that's fine. And I'm working out exactly how many cutters I need to cut the amount of well, I guess shapes that I've just extracted from the ground. And apparently six is the number I've settled on. Whether that was the right number, who knows. Really, this is the opportunity for me to check my maths. As we go back through, I can double check, like, was, was I doing this correctly? So I need to discard of this set. All those squares, don't need those. Just keep the fans. Then I'm realising that if I want a full conveyor belt to go into the hub at the end, I need to mine twice as much because I'm removing half of the shape. So we're just making another set of eight extractors, merging everything together, and building exactly the same system underneath, but in the opposite direction, so it's facing upwards. And I'll go through this a couple of times because I'll keep realising I've built it too close to itself. So I might just fast forward to where I've moved it far enough out that it's not an issue. So I've moved everything down a couple of blocks now to give it enough space. And I'm including these stacks in this system, so it's a nice compact system. We go through the cutters, discard the squares immediately split the fans, the windmills, and then rotate half of them clockwise one step and half of them anti-clockwise one step, and then straight into the stackers to combine them into a full windmill. Now they all go out to the same belt, which will be one fully saturated belt. So here we go, we're finally using the mergers. We're using both different types to get inputs for both sides and it all comes out of one belt so it's a nice and compact system creating those fans windmills I keep calling them fans the game calls them windmills maybe one day I will actually learn and call them windmills for once you never know there's a chance so now they need to be painted red so we need to have a painting system which I think awkwardly needs nine painters in this case I'm not 100%, we'll see, I guess, when I've built it. If I can remember again what layout I need to build it in. The answer is no, I can't remember. That's crazy talk. It is like that, that is correct. I'm just doubting myself. Well, that works, whether it's correct or not, I don't know. I've decided against it. I and mean, that also works, so... And then I'm building a second set up here, so apparently I've decided I need 12 painters. So there you go. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. 
I couldn't tell you honestly. I'm not 100% on the uh, transfer rate, so if the I guess the conveyor belt is probably doing six items a second at the moment. The paint is probably doing half, so 12 does make sense. Fair enough. 12 painters to get through all six items being produced a second. All six windmills. Which will make one fully saturated red windmill belt into the hub at the end. Which means I've got to split this belt currently into two to get to the two sets of painters. I might realise that I've forgotten a conveyor belt in the top set. You never know. I didn't last episode, but I might this time. Yes, I've realised. Congratulations, me. There's an upgrade available. I wonder what upgrade that is. Apparently I'm not going to look at it. So... I guess we've got that to look forward to in the future. So that's the inputs sorted, so now I need to merge all the outputs together with the merger. So there we go. Six up there and five down the bottom, I realise I've forgotten one. And I've already lost where they are, there we go. Connect the two together. Now we just need to get the red dye in, which I've not left my yeah, I've not left myself enough space for. There we go. I got there eventually. I can talk good. Yes, I'm. I'm fine. I can. I can talk England. It works. So yeah, there we go. Compactor split and system. The normal just to allow everything to fit in and then we just need to extract from the red dye and I forgot to hold shift and I've been using the mergers but I'm still going to use the splitters to compact the dyes down into one, la one line apparently of course put a marker on it I've got to consider what what code I use I was still calling them fans at this point so I thought F for fan then remember that it was the, the shape first and the colour, it's still not working, maybe it's windmills. Do I ever actually add that marker? No, apparently not. Oh now I do, okay. There we go, windmills. And that works. And now we just have to get the conveyor belt connected up to the hub and we're done. So we'll bring that up, I think we bring it underneath one of the other setups I've got. Or above it, and yeah, bring it above it and come in next to the purple circles. It's a nice long line because we had to go quite a distance away. But it's sorted now, they're building up for the upgrade. So now I'm starting work on the shape we need for the next level upgrade the sort of green semicircle on top of a cyan star, I guess. Bottom half of a cyan star and the top half of a green circle. I'm not sure what you'd call that shape in total, but it's what we need for the next upgrade. So I found this patch of circles next to some green dye, and nearby there's some stars next to some blue, which will allow us to make the cyan. So first things first, we need to split the circles in half. And then because we can use both halves, we just need to rotate them both. We're going to end up with two saturated conveyor belts of half circles because I started off with one saturated conveyor belt which I possibly didn't think through originally but it's it's what's happening now I quickly realised this is going to be the case and accept it for what it is so now I've got to merge all of the lines together and apparently I decided to go down, so that's, I mean, that's fair enough, it's a viable option. I don't know why I would, but yeah, I, I, there's no reason I would go up instead of down. The die is down, so I guess this makes sense. However, because we've previously established, I need 
12 painters per saturated conveyor belt. I've now got two saturated conveyor belts. I need 24 painters or four batches of six, which takes up quite a bit of space. And I initially only build two sets. So, because I have already built this exact layout several times, I will probably just skip this and skip to when we start on the cyan star sections. Okay, so I've finished the all of the painting for the green semicircles, so now it's time to start work on the cyan stars. And I'm quickly realising that the first issue is going to be I need more green. Well, the first issue is I need to cut the stars in half, but then I need more green. And I'm not sure where that green is going to come from yet. So I decide cutting here is probably a good idea. And I think the output goes up to the top this time, just to give me some more space to work with. If I ever make a decision. I'm really slow at making decisions, I realise. Watching back. Oh yeah, I have to I have to spin everything first, obviously. And I have to stack them together as well. So I guess there's that. Oh no, I don't. I don't have to stack them together. There we go. There is there's some green I found. And here's some blue. Some more blue and some more green because I'm probably double. And then I'm actually using mergers on the uh, extractors for once. I finally made a, made a decision that that is an okay idea and it is a valid option, and that I should probably use the mergers a lot more than I do because the splitters just take up a ton of space. So, rearranging the outputs from the blue dye because I've apparently keep changing my mind. Imagine settling on something first time, hey? Crazy thoughts. So, having, having finally come up to a conclusion on that, I now need to mix the colours together. And now I'm thinking about where I want to do that. I mean, I've got plenty of space, I don't know why I had to think this long about it. But I've apparently settled on down here. No, no I haven't. I've settled on there, apparently. And down the bottom. And then I think I'll immediately delete that, because I realise I don't know if I've got enough space yet. We'll see. Maybe I won't. There's a slim chance I won't immediately delete it. It is very slim. Yeah, I, I did immediately delete it. I'm not surprised, I'll be honest. It's now putting in the splitters first so that I can make sure I have enough space. And I'll still realise I haven't left myself enough space. Watch me instantly change my mind and realise the splitters need to be further away. I haven't yet, but I will realise it soon. Surely, surely I realise it at some point. Yes, now is the time I realise it. So I need to move all of the splitters apart one. That means I need to move all the stackers by one block as well. One tile. Not the stackers. You know what I mean, the mixers. So there we go. Move the mixers out. Move the splitters out. Yes, there we go. I've done it. Okay. And so now there's enough space for everything, including the tunnels that I need to get the dies into place. And so I'll put those in next. Apparently I'm going to do it uniformly. 
So here we go, put the tunnels in under the splitters to get the blue down to the bottom and then connect up to get the green into the bottom then connect the green into the top and then last I will connect the blue into the top I guess probably yes, here we go blue into the top and I've apparently misclicked on the last one because that's that's the sort of thing I do, clearly up goes the blue. Oh, I've forgotten the last tunnel, so I'll just add that in quickly. And then we just need to get the green into those two conveyor belts, which isn't too bad. So there we go, it's done. So now we've got two sets of cyan dye coming out that we can use in the painters that need to be placed next to paint the stars. when I bring it down underneath those conveyor belts. There we go. I've worked it out. I've managed to get it sorted. I've got them all into the same place. It's a minor miracle. I've done it quite compactly as well, in all reality. So, now considering where do I want the painters to be given, I need to get it down to the same place as the green semicircles currently are to stack them together. And I think I settled on to the right of the original cutting of the stars, because I'm probably not going to need those shapes. So I can afford to just use that area and go over them. But in the end I'm not sure I do actually go over them. So starting setting up the painters again and I will probably skip again because it's just the painters again in the same layout as it always has been. So I'm just finishing off connecting up the last painting factory for the stars and putting the marker on it. Uh, I may have put too many stars in that marker but I've fixed it now. And then we've got the output lines at the bottom and over to the left is the green semicircles. So now we just need to merge them together, which is easier said than done somewhat. I'm, I'm already considering where am I going to merge them together, as that is not an obvious answer necessarily. But I appear to have settled on around here. I think the main issue is the amount of them that I need to merge. I need to merge two different rows together. If that makes sense. Two different conveyor belts need to merge. Normally I would only do one. But I appear to have decided on this layout, although I think I do change it a little bit later. But I'm not quite happy with what I've settled on here. which I realise once I just start spacing it out with the splitters. Yes, as I, as I come along with the splitters and put them in, I realise that there's, there's a better way to space the second set of stackers that saves me a bit of space in the end. But it, I have to put the circles and stars into the first set first, to know what place that is. Which requires a lot of tunnels again. Building the tunnels is a little annoying because of the amount of clicking you have to do. But that's one set of stackers connected up, so now I'm bringing the green semicircles across the top. I'm thinking I'll bring them in a bit closer than that. And into the next set. And I realise that actually, the second set, because I don't have to stack them in a certain order, because they're going onto the same layer rather than different layers, I can have the second set go into the other side of the stackers 
to the first set. That probably made zero sense, but I'm rolling with it. Yeah, the, the stackers stack one input on top of the other, always the same input on top of the other input. So when you're stacking different layers together, you have to put them into the right input slots. When you're combining them onto the same layer, it doesn't matter which input slots you put them in. The same result will be received, I guess. I'm failing at tunnels again. Look at this. Imagine me being able to use tunnels effectively. There we go, all of the tunnels are in. Get the conveyor belts in. Which apparently I'm also failing at. Is there anything I can't do? Or anything I can do, even? There's nothing I can't do. I don't know what I'm saying. There's nothing I can do. Everything I can't do. That's what I'm trying to get across, I think. So that's all the stacking done. That goes together into two output lines. And then I just have to run those belts down to the hub. And we should be making, I think it's 12 of these a second. The belts run at six items a second. I've got two saturated belts. So logically that means 12 of these shapes, whatever they are. Jellyfish, I guess. They could look kind of like jellyfish. I almost got the code right. I got the last two letters the way around. There we go. Got the correct code in place on the marker. So now it's just running them down to the hub and working out the best place to bring them in. And awkwardly, I'm on the worst side of the hub for this because I'm already using all the inputs on this side. So I need to go round. Put down round the plane star production. And in from underneath it into the side. I think the second conveyor belt down and across and there we go so that's formed the whatever this shape is the, the green green semicircle and cyan half star to unlock the change extractor when level 11 completes which will happen in the next episode but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time